Hello Aries! Welcome! Welcome to your monthly reading with me, Joey, the Story Ad Hedge Witch, and we're going to be looking at your Plant Spirit Oracle reading for the month of April with the Green Witch Oracle. What has it got in store for my fire and little Aries this month? Do, 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 do. Ooh, happiness! Marajam! I'm saying it like that the entire way through. Da 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 da. Marajam! Don't know why. <laughs> oh, we've got a floof. Floof is under the table. Oh no. <laughs> There's a small floofy under. <laughs> what are you doing? Is, is Aries blessed with some floofy magic? <laughs> All right, Aries, let's get into it. Number 15. Your quote is by Claude Monet. My garden is my most beautiful masterpiece and the oracle is for new success relationships. My goodness, this is a month for relationships, apparently, uh, <laughs> and even beginnings. Can you do something differently to move an outcome more in line with your desires? Marajam indicates cele celebrations, excitement, holidays, good news and physical radiance. Well, apparently it's your month, my darlings, which should come as no surprise given that we're in hairy season for most of the month. Freedom that was once out of reach may now be obtainable. Be careful of overindulgence and overspending, though, and being too free with information that might be best kept close to the chest for now. Magical correspondences of Marajan. Oh, <laughs> I may be annoying you all, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, is love protection, particularly protection of objects, purification, spell and curse breakers and health it is related to hermes odin persephone and mercury as well as being associated with the celestial body mercury and the astrological sign of gemini okay so it is in the fire section of the greenwich oracle marajan is also known as aragana marajana marajolaine mountain mint winter sweet, sweet marajam, uh, mountain joy. The properties of it are antiseptic, antispermatic, cephaliac, calmative, digestive, exporant, laxative, nervine, sedative, tonic, and is used for anti-anxiety, sore muscles, swelling, digestive complaints, bruising, cramps, tension headaches, chest complaints, uh, da, 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 and sleep disorders. The essential oil should not be used during pregnancy. To use for protection, carry or place around the house. Uh, for love, add to food. For health and wealth, money, sachet spells. And rights to those who have passed. It is associated, it is in the fire section, but it is also associated with air and mercury. The abilities to relax from this herb have been known since the time of the ancient Greeks. Young couples wore wreaths of marajam on their wedding day as the symbol of their virtue and also helped them through the stressful day. It was common to include marajam in the stuffing of your pillow to aid sleep. Some took this further and believed that if you anointed yourself with the oil before you went to bed, you would dream of your future par partner. A slightly darker ancient use was to plant marajam on the grave of a lost loved one with the right may many flowers grow on the newly built tomb, not dried up bramble or the red flower broom. So there you go. Some interesting bits and pieces uh, about it. Hmm. Teas are made with the leaves or flowers for runny noses and colds, especially in infants. Dry and irritating cough, swollen noses, and ear pain. It's also used for digestion, uh, including poor appetite, liver disease, gallstones, internal gas, and stomach cramps. Some women use the tea for relieving symptoms of menopause, treating mood swings um, related to peri periods, as well as starting menstruation and promoting the flow of breast milk. <clears throat> so, what do we think? What do we think? Is there anything else I want to... Hmm. Let's have a look at that energy then, Aries. What do we think for the month? 
So happiness is an interesting concept when it comes to a card because happiness is one of those things which is felt in increments. Happiness is not like a permanent state. We all really wish to achieve happiness, but it is happiness in, in moments and key memories and things like that. So I think there's something to be said to be careful not to overdo it this month. Be careful of not overindulging, careful of not overspending or being too free with information. That was within the, the card reading itself. So there may be that feeling that you're on top of the world this month and that's absolutely glorious. Fully enjoy that to the maximum extent. But you have to be careful that as an Aries in that Aries energy and when it ticks over into Taurus as well, that you do not overindulge, you do not over splurge. Um, you do not overdo it <laughs> because it's easy to do when we're feeling happy uh, we just don't care we throw caution and abandon to the wind a little bit so just be aware of that just just don't do that <laughs> so much um the plant spirit however is sort of indicating that you need to align with your dreams and what really makes you get up and go 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 this month there is a need to be considered but also not to hold yourself back. And I don't feel like you, you're you going to this month. I feel like you are going to be in overdrive. I, I enjoy Aries energy so, so much after Pisces energy. I, I tell you, nobody gets something done like an Aries on a mission. Like the energy is glorious and you should completely revel in that. That's wonderful. Um, There may be a push-pull a little bit between what you feel you are obligated to do this month versus what makes you happy. You might be kind of really irritated um, by a sense of obligation coming from outside of the self, maybe in a work position. Try not to uh, lose your temper at that. It might be easily done, particularly in the first half of the month. And you may find yourself annoyed around the time of the Libra full moon because um, there's a little bit of a sense of injustice coming in around that full moon. And I don't think that's going to align very well with Aries, who has a very sort of straight to the point way of, of dealing with these things. You like straightforwardness, you like truthfulness, and there's a little bit of deception around that particular full moon. And I think that Aries is going to struggle with that in particular, in particular. And with this kind of being associated with Mercury and Gemini, you're really not going to want that two-facedness. You're really going to want straightforward communication and for half the month especially when mercury is in aries this month you're going to find that easy to accomplish straightforward conversations that you prefer are going to be easy to achieve in most situations um, but you're going to probably find your hackles raised a little bit if people are not being straightforward with you so just be aware of that try not to uh lose your temper um, and protect your happiness. Do not be taken on board everybody and their opinions all the time either. Don't, because I feel like a lot of Aries energy, this, a lot of Aries people, and it's going to depend a little bit on your moon and risings as well, so check that out, um, might have their happiness threatened by other people's misery guts attitudes. So if you need to purify your space and set up boundaries this month, it's a really good month for that and setting your alignment to a healthier space surrounding you because I feel like the space in which you're in is going to have a direct impact on you so that can be something as simplistic as cleaning and purifying the space around you and it might be also boundaries and not putting up with any nonsense this month Aries. Okay okay uh, if you would like to hear more you can on Patreon for a weekly reading of plant spirits, oracles, goodness helping you through each week and if you're on a certain tier, you can get personal reading as well, which is pretty, pretty damn good. We're going to be starting a new cycle for April for the goddess Morrigan. And so that goddess lifestyle, me priestessing through and lots more information about plant spirits and how to be a hedge witch all over on Patreon for the month. Come check it out. Many blessings. And I'll talk to you all very soon.